Welcome back to Backup World. Today we'll learn about uh, Oracle Backup configuration in Rubrik. So, what prerequisites for uh, Oracle Backup configuration? Ports, ports to be triple one four forty three two zero four nine and three two seven six four and three two seven six nine one two eight double zero and one two eight zero one. These are the ports required. So. These ports uh, bidirectionally between uh, Rubrik cluster and Oracle host, uh, these ports should be open and RBS agent should be installed on Oracle host. We have two types of Oracle backup configuration in Rubrik. Uh, one is managed volume and uh, second, one is, second one is Oracle snappable. So managed vol volumes by using uh, script, we can configure and schedule the uh, managed volume backups uh, by using SLA domains. And there is uh, uh, auto discovery option, uh, like uh, uh, once we install, uh, uh, data, databases will be uh, discovered uh, automatically. So uh, those uh, we can, con backup team can, uh, that without any help of uh, our main script or any scripts, so we can directly configure backup for those databases and schedule and assign them to uh, SLA domain. Recovery also uh, from managed volume, uh, DBA team can uh, recover. From Oracle snappable, uh, both the DBA and uh, backup admin can recover. Backup schedule also, uh, uh, it, we provide our back access to rubric uh, DBA team. Uh, so DBA team also can manage uh, backup schedules and backup uh, activities. So first of all, we have to uh, add database host in rubric. So for that, we have to uh, navigate settings. So under settings, we can see data sources. Data sources, uh, uh, we can see uh, Unix and Linux uh, operating system. There we have to select add host. Once we select, we, uh, we can see this option uh, where first we have to select rubric cluster. Once we select rubric cluster to download RBS agent, we should select second option. I want to install and register the RBS software now. If you select, we will get one more option to download RPS agent and a version of the Unix server to Linux, AX, Solaris, the version of the Unix server will get. Then uh, we can move that RBS uh, lightweight agent to host and install locally. Then again, we have to navigate same path and uh, select the first option. I have already installed and register RBS software. Once we select this, then we can see option add host IP address or FTDN. We should give FTDN or uh, uh, IP address of the host, uh, DB host. Once we add it, we should provide SysDBA user to discover databases. If we don't give this uh, SysDBA user, then uh, we will not be able to see Oracle host under Oracle databases. That means we will not be able to configure backup through Snappable. So once we uh, provide this SysDBA user, then we should click on add. Once we add it, then navigate to uh, inventory, inventory uh, Oracle databases. Here we can see that the uh, server has been added and we can assign SLA domain on server uh, level or uh, we can uh, assign SLA domain on databases or data god groups. So we should we have to assign and uh, uh, monitor the backup. So once we select this uh, uh, either server uh, database or uh, uh, data god, so we have to select SLA domain to select SLA domain. Uh, we can see uh, when we click on manage protection, we will get an option to create SLA domain also. That time we should select Oracle databases or uh, to protect Oracle database backup. And uh, backup 
फ्रीक्वेंसी है डेली और वीकली मंथली वेन एवर वी नीड दैट वी शुड सेलेक्ट एंड रिटेंशन पीरियड रिटेन स्नैपशॉट एंड स्नैपशॉट विंडो एज पर आवर रिक्वायरमेंट वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट दैट स्नैपशॉट विंडो वंस वी सेलेक्ट स्नैपशॉट विंडो विल गेट नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन देन we can see uh, rk rk wing first one uh, we will get this option once we get rk if we have rk wall location we have to select rk then replication once we select replication we can see the uh, object type details object type details where we can see log retention uh, log frequency log retention and uh, Archive archive redo log retention all the uh, options we have to select then there is an option retention log uh, if we enable retention log then we will not be able to change retention period in that uh, sla domain also uh, we will not be able to reassign this uh, sla domain for this host any other uh, sla i mean uh, sla domain so the, this until we unlock this retention lock uh, this db host contains same sla domain so next option we will have a uh, name of the sla domain we can mention a name of the sla domain and create once we create uh, it will it will be assigned to that uh, db host which we selected after that uh, uh, we can wait you know until the uh, backup window as per sla domain or uh, uh, there is an option to take uh, on demand backup so select the dpa host and uh, click on three dots we can see the options live mount log backup or uh, on demand i mean take uh, database backup these options we can see we can run um, or hack backup uh, if required and test. Thank you.